Bam Marjorie is officially taking things to court, suing his old friends at Jack out over firing him from the franchise, stealing his intellectual property, and much more. Bam is claiming he was forced to sign an agreement that amounted to psychological torture and ultimately suicidal thoughts. According to the legal docs acquired by your favorite Jackout Updates page, Bam's attorneys filed an official lawsuit on Monday the 9th of August against Johnny Knoxville, Spike Jones, Jeff Tremaine, along with Paramount Pictures, MTV, Dick House Entertainment and Gorilla Flicks for his recent ousting. Marjorie claims he was illegally fired from the film so they could, and I quote, steal the popular and lucrative movie franchise and not compensate him, Marjorie is suing for millions of dollars in damages as well as seeking an injunction to prevent the film's release, currently set to release the 22nd of October of this year, for inhumane, abusive and discriminatory treatment, and for their wrongful termination of him from the Jackass franchise he created, yes, you heard correctly. The suit clearly states that Bam Marjorie is taking sole credit for creating the popular Jackass franchise, just to be clear. It's just, like, 50% CKY, 50% Big Brother is Jackass. No one from CKY is in Jackass anymore, so it's Big Brother. And who are these new people? It's not Jackass. Anyway. Popular magazine Entertainment Weekly reached out to Paramount, Knoxville, Johns, and Tremaine for comment. This is what they got back. I am pissed off, angry, hurt, and shattered that Johnny, Jeff, Spike, and the studios and producers ripped off my creativity, content, and stunts to make this movie, fired me without justification, and refused to pay for my work. I created this franchise before any of these guys ever got involved. Marjorie said in a statement provided to EW, my lawsuit isn't just about compensation, it's about treating people with mental health and addiction issues in an honest manner and not taking advantage of their disabilities to rip them off. According to documents officially filed at the Los Angeles Superior Court, producers of Jackass 4, aka Jackass Forever, violated Bam Marjorie's civil rights when they forced him to sign a wellness agreement and then cut him loose after a positive drug test. The suit alleges that Marjorie was fired after testing positive for Adderall. Even though he has taken Adderall by prescription for over a decade now, the suit compares Marjorie's treatment to Britney Spears' conservatorship case, alleging that he has been victimized as a result of his mental health issues. Directly quoted, Paramount's inhumane treatment of Marjorie cannot be countenanced. Marjorie was made to endure psychological torture in the form of a sham wellness agreement and then ultimately terminated for his protected class status due to his medical condition, and his complaints about defendant's discriminatory conduct towards him. The suit claims the producer's actions against Marjorie were a violation of the Unruh Civil Rights Act, California's Fair Employment and Housing Act, an unlawful retaliation and a wrongful discharge in violation of public policy. Bam is additionally suing defendants for breaching his deal to star in Jackass fraudulently inducing him into a sketchy agreement, as well as Jackass forever making use of many of Marjorie's contributions, mainly noting his intellectual property. Bam's initial complaint, filed by attorney Eric George, adds, Marjorie did not slip up, he followed the provisions of the wellness agreement to a T, at great personal cost. Defendant's treatment of Marjorie exacerbated his mental health issues and led to suicidal thoughts, but still, Marjorie persevered, only to have the rug pulled out from under him. Leave your thoughts in the comments section and don't forget to like and subscribe to stay tuned for the upcoming Jackass Updates video.